The use of subject terms to focus your search is a very powerful search strategy. I'm going to show you within an article database how to search for subject terms and then also how to search for them on the fly. So initially, let's take a look at within EBSCOhost. I'm in Academic Search Complete as my example. And I'm going to select their subject terms area. Now, different article databases may have these subjects listed in different areas. But for this example, I'm going to use EBSCOhost. If I go to the subject terms area, you will see a list of alphabetized subject terms. I can then search within the entire collection of EBSCO for those subject terms. So let's put in something like um, teenagers. What I can do when I browse is look through the list of results. And these are not articles. These are actually subject headings that are then tagged to various articles to describe them. So I see that there's teenagers. There's teenager attitudes, teenager growth, etc. If I were to click on one of these, and you'll see to the far right it says I can explode it, what that means is that there are subheadings and uh, broader and narrower terms with, for this particular uh, topic. So for teenagers, it says here are entered works on people in the general age range of 13 through 18 years. A broader term might be youth. That would include uh, people who are maybe just on the fringes of 13 and 18, maybe you know, eight to 10, and you could look into that and see what their classification or their scope is for youth. A narrower term might be abuse teenagers, arts and teenagers, and these are all the different subtopics that you're going to be able to search for within uh, the database. Video game and teenagers, television and teenagers, etc. The related terms are things like adolescent or adolescent psychology. So an adolescent would be used that term would be used by psychiatrists, uh, people within this uh, psychology field. If you think about uh, police officers and the courts, they might use a term like juvenile. So the juvenile justice system would include uh, teenagers as well. We've already seen uh, youth being used, but then you see down here young adults. We see preteens, minors. These are all sort of synonyms or related terms that for some reason or another have a very specific definition and are used differently within the database. Where that becomes important is if you're searching for a topic that isn't strictly teenagers between the age of 13 and 18, but you can kind of work on the fringes, you may want to use the subject terms in order to come up with some alternative search terms like adolescent, uh, children, preteens, etc. You can do all of this on the fly, of course, if you're within EBSCOhost and you're just paying attention. So if I were to look up something about teenagers and let's talk about relationships, and I could add another search term if I wanted, but for this example, let's just use these two. I'm going to pull up a list of 23,301 results. What I want to do very quickly is to take a look at, at my results and the subject area. So I see teenagers is a subject. I see interpersonal conflict. So I typed in relationship, but I may want to take note that interpersonal conflict may be another search term to use. I then see gender, parent-child relationships, and the law. So that law in parentheses suggests a subtopic. I see heads of household, which is slightly different than a parent, and then parent-child relationship. Okay. If I look at the next one, next result, I'll see in the subject area, adolescents and teenagers. I'll also see self-perception, so that might deal with um, self-esteem and that sort of topic. I see social skills, adolescent friendships. So these are search terms that I could add to my list, maybe take notes to the right of my uh, mouse or whatever I'm using to do my search with, and I take notes and add these search terms to my search if I'm running into problems. I can also tell that these are subjects now. So teenagers was a subject, and instead of doing a keyword search, if I focus a subject, my 23,301 should tighten up quite a bit because now instead of looking everywhere for that term, I'm just looking in the subject area. So here I have teenagers and relationships without Prozac. It's the title of a book, and I can limit my search by subject and other ways that, that are helpful. So I hope that helps, gives you some search strategies. If you have any questions, contact your Lincoln Land Community College librarian. Take care.